a 2018 Audi S3 saloon. I've just bought this from a friend and he doesn't know yet. Yes, the car's in a bit of a state, but I'm sure it's got a few stories to tell, but we'll get on to that later. So I've heard someone say once, when your cup feels full, you begin to start to fill others, if that makes sense. So what I'm trying to say is that this YouTube stuff has basically allowed me to live my dream life, rebuilding, modifying, and driving cars that I never even thought I'd ever own. And now I feel like it's time to rebuild cars, not just for my own pleasure. Now this S3 may come as a bit of a shock for Leon, but it could come as a bit of a shock for anyone really. Look at the state of it. But let me explain what's about to happen. It is absolutely disgusting in here. But let me crack on with it. So Liam's been my friend since way back in the BMX days. We rode BMX pretty much every single day. And you guys may know him from popping up in some of the previous videos. Oh no, it's changed up on its own. That was sick, you were catching. Now Liam, like myself and like many of you watching, love cars. But he's never really had a great experience with them. He bought an Audi A5, he crashed it once, he then got it repaired, it then crashed it again, which was a complete write-off. He bought a Mark V Golf GTI and he crashed it. So he seems to have given up spending money on cars. Right now, he only has his work van and, well, sure enough, he crashed it. Now I'm hoping we could break this algorithm by buying him an already crashed car and then repairing it. <laughs> Maybe it will work? So, why Liam? So Liam's been one of these friends that's sort of supported me throughout my whole YouTube journey. He's shared my videos, even when we was at like 100 subscribers. He's come to fit lights in my unit and he even comes late after work just to help me with any one of the builds. So then, why an Audi S3? So Liam and his girlfriend have just had a baby girl. So I knew they needed a four-door car. And don't worry, this will be safe for children after, after I finish with it. So I was on the lookout for a car that's cheap to run, cheap to insure, looks cool, quick enough to keep up with all of my cars, a car that I've not really rebuilt before on the channel, and big enough for a family of three. And then I stumbled upon this saloon Audi S3, and the best part about it all is unregistered damage. Now we'll get on with the car, the damage, and what's wrong with it later, but for now we've got to prep this car ready for tonight, where Liam is going to be surprised with his brand used <laughs> Audi S3 saloon. Just getting the S3, or what was an S3, ready for Liam. We're prepping it. It's a, it's a strange occasion. Would you be happy to receive this? Uh, uh, well, I don't know. Well, I would, but... I would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kevin, what do you think? Is Liam going to be buzzing for it? Okay, so this is quite a w weird moment. Normally you see people getting their dream car and, well, we could put emotional music on it when they get it or... Uh, uh, is this a happy moment or a sad moment? <laughs> I don't know. But normally Liam finishes work, then he just comes straight from work to the unit and helps me out with whatever I'm doing at the minute. We're obviously wrapping the Lamborghini Gallardo. But today he's going to find a nice surprise for him. Well, we we'll think... Well, kind of a nice surprise, his Audi S3, which is a little bit damaged, a little bit used. Normally, he just walks straight in, but today we've locked the door, so might just give it a bit of a wobble. No, it's not Liam, it's me this time. And why are you here? I've just come to check that you're protected with Surfshark. Of course I'm protected using Surfshark. And by now, all of us should be protected using Surfshark. And if you don't know what Surfshark is, let me explain. So Surfshark, who have sponsored today's video, is a VPN tool, which stands for Virtual Private Network. And that means it encrypts all the data sent via the internet so no one can steal your passwords, steal your videos, view your private messages, or see what you're doing online. Now, if you think public Wi-Fi is safe, then you're wrong. Public Wi-Fi is a goldmine for hackers, but not when using Surfshark. Shark. And that's not the only thing it's good for. Check out this. Say you're on Netflix in the UK and you want to watch a bit of the old Top Gear, but when you search it, it's not available in the UK. So I can just go over to Surfshark in the top right hand corner, change my browsing location to Germany, 
go back onto Netflix, give it a refresh, search again for Top Gear, and there it is, ready to watch. So to get Surf Shark today, click the link in the description box below. Use code Matt Armstrong, and that's going to get you 83% off. And because Black Friday's coming up, and it's Christmas time soon, they're giving you an extra four months for free. There's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's literally no risk. Thanks, Surf Shark. Stand back from the door. Yo, get this. Stand back, please. Put that over your head. Uh, yeah, put put it over your nose. What, like this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. I don't feel like this is some kind of trap. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Okay, okay, turn this way. Can't breathe, you know. <laughs> okay, hold out your hands. Yeah? Ready? This is the key to your new car. Hey, take it off! What? Take the Mario hat off. It's got a few scratches around the front. Um, oh, they'll just buff out, mate. <laughs> <laughs> um, you'll have to no. see inside in a minute. But um, yeah, Audi, Audi S3, 2018. Um, but it's no, decent spec. No, 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 no. From today, you, I mean, you could drive it away. Oh, no, you can't be joking. <laughs> no, literally. That's your car. No, you can't be serious. <laughs> I'll let you have a look inside. But yeah, that's your car. So at least now you've got a car. To <laughs> Give me a hug. Cheers, man. So at least now you've got a car to whip round in. I I didn't realise this when I first looked at the car. I thought it had a digital dash, but it don't have the digital dash. The condition of me giving Liam this car is that we get to modify it. If he keeps his standards, then he should just <laughs> say goodbye. We are gonna do a complete nice walk around for you guys as well, and so we're gonna get this outside so we can see. But this is the foot sort of, I've not really had a look around it properly yet. I've just opened the boot and the doors. I want it to be like the first reaction with Liam as well. So we're gonna start off with the boot. <laughs> <laughs> So I think we definitely picked the right car. Liam seems really happy with it. But for the rest of the night, we spent picking out clothes from the boot and the rest of the car until the next morning where we could get it out on the front to take a better look at it. Okay, job done. But what exactly is wrong? with the Audi S3. Let's start things off underneath the bonnet. Now supposedly the engine starts and works, but I'm not gonna start it. One, because the battery is completely flat, and two, because of this. This inlet manifold here has got a right nasty crack in it from where something has hit it, well, in this direction. So there could potentially be plastic in the inlet manifold. If we start it and it sucks it into the engine, we can say goodbye <laughs> to that engine. The good news is though, there is oil in it and the sump and underneath the car, it doesn't actually look too badly damaged. And we do have a little bit of chassis damage here, but nothing that's not repairable. The front bumper, the wings, the bonnet and the rad pack it, they're, they're, not, they're not here, they're, they're long gone. Luckily though, we have one working headlight with no damage to it, and that is a big stroke of luck for me. You know how things go with headlights on this channel. Now suspension and wheel-wise, it's actually not too bad. It doesn't look like there's any damage to the suspension on the passenger side or the driver's side. So nice little bit of stroke of luck there. The door here's got a little crease in it, but nothing that can't be fixed by a dent guy. That's definitely salvageable, that door. Now for some reason to me, the rear of the car looks like it's lowered or something. I don't know why, it just looks a little bit lower. I guess we'll find out once we get it in the ramp. But as for the rest of the rear, I think it's okay. Everything looks in place. No scratches on this side at all. The boot does look like it's lifted a bit there. Not quite sure why, I'm sure we'll find out. We do have a little dent in the rear bumper, but other than that, it's not too bad on the rear. Now pretty much these Audi S3s are pretty much exactly the same as the Golf R I had. Like all the parts are really similar once you take the body parts off. So we should be familiar where everything goes and where everything works, providing 
that engine starts up and works. Now this is a 67 Reg Audi S3, so a late 2017, early 2018, and it's not the best spec. One thing I did notice, it doesn't have the digital dash, which is slightly annoying. I thought it was going to have it being a late 17 slash 18 car, but it doesn't have that. Maybe that's something we could retrofit. And then also, it doesn't have the sort of crisscrossy seats, which are like in the S3. It just has the bog standard sort of comfort seats. But again, that's something that we could upgrade in the future. But now let's move on to the damage on the inside of the car. We've got curtain airbags, driver side and passenger side, which are completely deployed. The seat belts are completely locked out and the driver was definitely not wearing a seat belt if that's locked like that. Steering wheel airbags deployed, passenger airbags deployed and knee airbags deployed. And the whole of this interior is absolutely disgusting. But as a massive bonus, this car does not have a category title. It's not categorized at all. So when we put this back on the road, no one would know that it's been in an accident apart from every single person watching this video. <laughs> now the S3 has about 70,000 miles on the car, which is fairly high mileage for a 2018 car. And uh, I hate to do this to you guys, but if we can get this video to say what, 10,000 thumbs up, then I'll let you guys know how much I paid for this in the next video, I'm sorry. But like all the crash damage cars I buy, they always come with a story. Why was it crashed and how did it get to this point here? And that's what I really wanna figure out with this S3. And there's only one man for the job. Well, this one has been quite a tricky one, if I do say so myself. There's obviously no doubt that this has been in a front-end accident. You don't have to be a genius to work that one out. But the question is, how has it been in a front-end accident? Well, first things first, I found a few sets of number plates inside the car with some fresh sticky tape on the back of them, which could only suggest that maybe it's been driven with some false number plates on it at some point. Hmm. Now, if you just follow me inside the car here, there's a lot of plastic bottles, a lighter, and a substantial amount of liquor bottles. Somebody was getting turned up. So what are you saying then, Detective Matt? Do you think that this was stolen and then they went out on like a joyride, drink driving, and then it's been crashed? Well, yes, I am saying that, but it might even be more than just liquor. But um, it doesn't explain the amount of clothes that was in the car. Now, yes, there was a substantial amount of clothes, shoes, trainers, sunglasses, loads of stuff that we found in the back of the car, which we still can't get our head around. So maybe you guys could let us know in the comment section below any ideas towards that. I don't know, maybe someone was moving out, doing a runner, I, I don't know. But there is one more thing which is a little bit funny. Inside this door pocket here, which I'm not gonna touch without gloves, there's some cigarettes and also some of the green stuff. And this car inside just smells like a nightclub. It absolutely stinks. And you gotta be pretty drunk and delirious to not drive without your seatbelt on because all of these are locked up. Not one person had their seatbelt on because none of them have been cut off. But that's exactly what makes these rebuilds even better when we finally get them back on the road. And I have confidence with this one. I'm just not so sure about the engine. I really hope that it's gonna start for me, for us, and for Liam and everyone here as a channel. But all in all, what do you guys think of the latest project? This is gonna be such a good car for Liam when it's done. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you think? And is it repairable or is it gonna be an absolute nightmare? Now, I wanna crack on with this car as soon as possible. So if any of you guys can help me out with any parts or know someone that's got some parts, let me know in the comment section below. But I'm not thinking of going for like a standard S3. I'm thinking, let's convert this to an RS3. So we need an RS3 front end. But for now, wish me luck with the build. This one's gonna be another fun one. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Thank you